Howdy members, Camo it here. Today we're going to show you how to check your wide open throttle position. Some people have said, how come my vehicle doesn't go past 30 miles an hour on the freeway? Well, the very first thing you want to do is check to make sure that your, well, number one, your fuel filter isn't plugged. And number two, that your throttle is actually going wide open when you put it all the way to the floor. A lot of times you put it to the floor, it's not adjusted properly, so you're not getting full throttle like you should be. So the very first thing we need to do is remove the hood. Or in a lot of cases, just open the hood. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you how you properly set your throttle adjustment so this way it gets wide open throttle and doesn't destroy the linkage in the process, which is a very important thing. Because last thing you wanna do is bend all your important linkage right here because you, when you step on the gas pedal, you're holding it to the floor, you're actually putting all the pressure on, on your linkage instead of on the floorboard where it belongs. So we'll go through the process of setting that. First, you're gonna need a couple little tools. I just happen to have a brake pedal depressor, which is right here, that uh, is used to hold the brake pedal down when doing brake adjustments and bleeding brakes and things of that nature. Uh, you can use it for holding down any pedal, so I use it for holding down the gas pedal in this one. So first thing you wanna do is put that in the vehicle. Now what we've done here is we've taken, we've put our brake pedal depressor in so it holds the gas pedal down to the floor. Some pedals have a bolt behind them that have a stop adjustment, some don't. Now our pedal has been depressed all the way down so you can see that this is now in an open position. First thing you want to do is remove the air cleaner. With the air cleaner removed, we can now look down inside the throttle and see what's down in there. Okay, I can see the butterflies are definitely open. Secondaries are closed, which is the way they're supposed to be because they're vacuum secondaries. So, what we want to do is we want to check and see just how much more this will open up just by pushing on it. Yep, doesn't open up which tells me it's wide open right now. Check my... Now by pushing on the cable, we can check to see if there's any, if it's got full tension or if there's a little bit of slack. And seeing how it moves, I've got a little bit of deflection there. You can see the... You can see the roll of the, of the throttle. It's just a little tiny bit. I do get some deflection out of the, the bracket that I've built up here, but that's normal, and that's what you want. You don't want it to be pulling real tight because you'll bend all your linkage. Your foot is stronger than the carburetor. Now, if I was going to make an adjustment on this, all I would do is loosen the bolt right here, and I would slide my whole assembly right here up a little, which would pull the throttle open or slide it down to give a little bit more slack. That's all there is involved in it. Some linkage adjustments are done with a jam nut on the back side and an adjuster nut on the front. So this whole thing, instead of just being a, a guide, would have a nut and a threaded sleeve. So you would loosen up the nuts, you would pull your cable back, and then you would adjust your jam nut up to it. And then that's how you would make your adjustments to your throttle. And that's your mechanics tip of the day. Remember, members, you can always come to MightyRam50.net, sign into the board, and get more information from there. Remember, that's MightyRam50.net.